Hey y'all. So now we're gonna do um the collective of the fire signs. So that's Airy, Leo, and Sagittarius. Uh we're gonna do the same thing as yesterday. I know I mentioned yesterday that I was gonna do a five minute video and it did not work out like that at all. I ended up doing like a 30 minute video. So I'll just keep it, you know, like that for now. I'll I'll do the video as well for the fire signs and the other collectives. Um that would be like you know about 30 minutes long, okay? So let me just line this up and then we can start. Cleanse the energy around here. Alright. So we're gonna do the same thing we did yesterday. Um I'm going to pull from my Oracle decks, see what spirit wants you to receive, and then after this I will clarify everything with the tarot. Okay. Spirit was called the universe in the most high. What is the fire sign collective? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What do they need to receive right now when it comes to love? What do they need to receive and what's coming in for May 2021? What do they need to receive? Alright, so we're already starting off with some time apart. So it says time apart, uh, some distance will help bring clarity. Children. children children are important to this partnership we got this card yesterday as well with the uh water signs we're gonna see now what we told them about with children okay we got here uh don't dismiss the red flags That one just fell out. Lovely watch. Finances. So financial challenges are affecting this connection. We have your regret. Someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. And right after that, we have longing. So this person is regretting what they did. They are missing you. They do want you and stuff like that. Uh, secretly, you know, they keeping it to themselves. They're on the low with it. person wants a second chance <laughs> and you can see that here you know like they are missing you and stuff like that but we're gonna see we're gonna see okay so does this situation align with your values and morals i feel like spirit is asking you that like this person wants a second chance are you gonna give it to them Oh, and I think, I don't know, Spirit is telling you try something that you've never done before. And right after that, we have release. Right after that, we have release and we have apology. So, this person definitely is going to come back with some type of apology. And Spirit is telling you to release. Try something new. Try something you've never done before. Don't give this person another shot. That's what I'm getting right off the bat. And again, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> so, I feel like that Spirit telling you, you know, like, um... She's correct. Picking up on that. Let me get um. Let me get two more. Let's see what two more cards. Okay, 
right, so we have Leap of Faith. It says it's safe to make the move that you're considering. And the bottom of the deck, we have self-care. So it says clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So whatever you're trying to do, clear your energy field. So let's see. So we have time apart. So some this will help you bring clarity. Okay, so this is in the past position. So I feel like, you know, let me make sure you guys can see this. In the past position, um, you know, there's a there's a separation here. We have some type of separation. So now the children could be that uh, you know, you maybe you guys have children. Maybe you don't wanna, you know, break up because you guys have kids, or it could be like the reading from yesterday that we was getting the children card, but it was because that person was very emotionally um immature. So that could be that as well. Um we have here finances. We have don't dismiss the red flags and boundaries. So financial challenges are affecting this connection. So this could be, you know, maybe you guys are fighting over money. Um, maybe this person is not able to give you the financial security and stability that you deserve. Um, or they could be, it could be that this person is focusing too much on their finances and on material things and stuff like that. And not really focusing on this connection or, you know, the children as well. So now we have boundaries. Spirit is telling you to put your boundaries up, you know, put your walls up. Okay. For the present, we have uh, regret, longing, and second chance. So yeah, somebody does feel bad. This person probably feels remorse. You know, they regret that they have probably put money first or put their finances and career first or, um, you know, material things first and, and ahead, you know, in front of their family with the children card and, and you know, ahead of, um, you know, this relationship and stuff like that. And, um, this person is regretting it. So, you know, they're secretly yearning for you and they do want a second chance. So, you know, probably secretly as well, you know, like they're not letting you know that they do want a second chance yet, but now with the integrity card, spirit is saying, does this really situation, does this situation really align with your values and morals? And I feel like it probably don't because spirit is sending you to release. Um, this person is going to come back with the apology. So that's connecting with the whole second chance stuff. But our uh, spirit is telling you to just radically accept this, accept this for what it is, accept that it was not, you know, uh, for your highest good and release it, let it go. It's telling you to try something new, you know, maybe a different type of vibe or uh, somebody more, uh, family orientated. I don't know if you've seen the children thing, you know, maybe somebody more family orientated or somebody who, you know, who's going to give you what you want. Someone who's not really focusing on the finances or somebody that's able to give you the stability, um, and then we have here deep of faith. It is safe to make the move you're considering and clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So if the, if the, um, the, the make, I mean the move <laughs> that you was, um, considering to make, if you was trying to like, you know, leave this connection, cause I do see time apart. So maybe you are thinking like, you know, maybe you should leave for good. Maybe you guys took a little break, a little time apart. And now you think, you know, I should just leave. Uh, I don't want to go back to this connection cause you know, things ain't going to change. We're not on the same page. You know, and um, spirit is telling you, you know, it's safe to make that move. If you do want to leave, it's, it's, you're getting the green light to leave. But they're telling you right now, make sure you clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. So if you have somebody else, if you have another option, you know, and you feel like uh, you want to make the leap of faith with that connection, they're letting you know, you know, go ahead. You got the green light. Just make sure that you focus on yourself. Clear your energy field of this person completely and do the healing first so you don't have to come into this new connection or into the new single life, you know, with a lot of baggage, emotional baggage and stuff like that from this uh, old connection. All right. So we will see more. Let's see what else we got. We will see more clarity. laundry's done <laughs> all right so let's pull from here unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love okay, so we have that in the past energy See things differently than they are. The past is conditioning or influencing the situation. Reevaluate. Right, so it's only you to reevaluate the situation. You have the mask card. So I feel like, you know, that's what they're telling you because this person is hiding something. It says not showing the true feelings. They're hiding. They're uh, pretending. Gaslighting, you know. Hmm. 
Okay, so we have that in the past position. Did I read the cards? Can y'all see those cards like that? I think you can see it like that. So we have here the escape artist. <clears throat> this person may sabotage or end uh, the relationship to avoid being hurt. They're afraid to be loved. They're still looking and they run when it gets real. I'm tired of getting this energy. Like we keep picking up the same energy. Like these escape artists. But I feel like we are all collectively releasing these escape artists and releasing what no longer is serving us. And we have the money issue. So we did see the financial card. So this is saying fighting over money. Heal the root chakra, lack of trust, fear and safety, security, survival control. Okay. And this is the chaser. Uh, chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. Taking a break. So it says not necessarily a breakup. Take time apart. Allow for a new perspective. Send time meditate. And we have here, you know, a new perspective, you know, uh trying to see things differently. But we're gonna make sense of everything in a minute. Let me just pull some more cards. So I'll get the whole story. A runner in a codependent relationship. So we have the chaser and the runner. Uh, this person is has a fear of intimacy. They're listening to their ego. This is definitely connecting to the uh, escape artist. Definitely the same type of energy. Okay. Make sure you have to see it. Clarify this, uh, this break, Spirit of Squad. Why are they in separation? Clarify this break. Why are they in separation? Okay. So we have the cheater story. <laughs> so it says cheated on now in the past. Trust issues are triggered. Heal past hurts and change your future. So that's why there was a separation. And in the bottom of the deck, we have the trust issues card. It says, a certain if trust issues are justified or unjustified, uh, trust is imperative to feeling safe and secure. So that was definitely a separation because this person cheated and it's causing you to have these trust issues right now. You know, like you can't trust this person. This person probably cheated more than once. And we have here heartbroken. So yeah, I definitely love you feeling like you're heartbroken. It says here deeply sad, hurt, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. So yeah, you definitely are, you know, going through this uh, energy right now. So now, what do we have for the future? What's coming? Leveling up. You deserve the best. Major improvement. Doing inner work. Dealing with past hurts. So you are going to be leveling up from this person. You are going to be doing the work. You know, healing yourself and stuff like that. Releasing this person that no longer serves you. Okay, let's see. I want to like get all of this in the screen. I know I'm annoying with this, but hold on. <laughs> oh boy. Coming in May, it's coming in May. After the healing, after we do the healing, what's coming? Let's go. Let's talk about it. All right, now we're talking. We have one date. Uh, give it at least one date. It takes time to know someone, take a chance, and switch up your type. That's exactly what Spirit was saying with the last uh, couple of cards. You know, like try something new, somebody different, a whole different type of vibe uh, from this energy that we was getting in the past. Oh, wait, before I shuffle, look what we have. <laughs> 
We have exclusive. So it says commitment, uh, possible marriage material, a life partner, and not dating other people. So I feel like you are uh, going to meet somebody new. Spirit is telling you, give them a chance. And look what we have uh, behind the exclusive card. So I feel like this is the energy that you was dealing with before, you know, like uh, destructive habits. So somebody who was, who was addicted to sex, uh, gambling, alcohol, you know, stuff like that. A lot of toxic energy from this person. So Spirit is saying, you know, after you've dealt with all this, now you are finally going to get what you, you know, what you want. You are going to get um, an exclusive relationship. You're not going to be dating other people. You guys are going to be, you know, on the same type of page. We have expectations. Confirm that you want the same things. Prioritize the relationship. Expectations yield results. So Spirit is saying, um, make sure that you, uh, you know, make sure that you let this person know how you feel. Look what we have in the bottom of the cup. So you are going to be, uh, you know, having some type of meeting or conversing. My bad, I got ashes all over me from the the stage so you know you are going to be meeting you know and having a talk you know you are going to have some type of friendship with somebody that's going to lead to way more to something exclusive um they're telling you to confirm you know that you want the same things and they're telling you to make sure that you prioritize this relationship so um you know put this relationship first you know put your energy into this connection because it does look like something that has potential okay so now so yeah that's basically what i'm getting here like this person um i'm getting immature like emotionally immature because we have here the escape artist the runner so this person runs you know when shit gets real when when a relationship starts getting deep uh when they start feeling like they're falling in love or the person's falling in love they they run for it you know they escape like we have that and that causes you to feel like we have here the the chaser you know like you have to chase this person or you feel like abandonment uh issues here you know like you can't trust this person you don't know what he's doing when he's not home um the children card again, you know, maybe you have children and this person is not spending time with you and, and, and your children or your child. And they're out here, you know, chasing money uh, because this person cannot give you um, the stability that you deserve when it comes to finances, you know. Um, also, when I see the, it says here, heal the root chakra. The root chakra is all about security, stability and stuff like that. And this is saying that this person cannot give you that right now. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting for sure person cheated on you in the past you're getting real fuck boy energy you know this person lets you feeling heartbroken this person wasn't keeping it a hundred they had a mask on it was you know pretending probably pretending that that's this is something that they wanted pretending you know and they wasn't on that type of vibe at all all right so that's what we're getting with that but you do have somebody new coming in Spirit is saying, give it at least one day. It takes time to get to know someone, take a chance, switch up your type, okay? So maybe this person that's coming into your life, you you probably don't look at them like that, you know, like, oh, you know, you have a type, you know? We all have a type. We like the bad boys, but the bad boys ain't good for us. They're not, they're not for our highest good. So Spirit is saying, you know, give this person a chance, okay? Um, and you are going to be healing after this heartbreak, so you are going to get over it, you know, you're good. Uh, you are going to be doing major improvement, like it says here. You're going to be doing the inner work and dealing with your past hurts. So, you know, you are going to be leveling up. You're going to leave this person in the past. You are going to find something better. Okay. Let's see what else it wants us to receive. Um, I'm going to pull from this back. My soulmate. So we have here um, radical attraction and sexual pull come with inconsistency and detachment. A theme of freedom or commitment um, or no expectations are the best to have. So they're telling you basically with this card, there's probably a lot of sexual pull, you know, a lot of passion here. You probably, you know, the sex is popping and stuff like that. But that comes with inconsistency and detachment um with this energy with this person okay and they're telling you right right now you know don't have any expectations with this person this person wants their freedom this person doesn't really want commitment we kind of picked up on that um before you know with the, with the other cards So we have 
appear separation surrender into your heart and divine source where there is no separation the highest levels okay so basically they're talking about you know there's a separation here okay. bottom of the deck we have addictions so it says uh, physical addictions, emotionally addictive thoughts, or other negative patterns of behavior are affecting this connection. So there is an addiction here. I feel like, um, again, when I saw the uh, the runner, the you know those type of things, this person does need to heal. This person has a lot of healing that they need to do. This person um, got hurt in the past. This person doesn't know how to love. This person uh, maybe grew up in a family that um, that he didn't see love, you know. So he has a lot of things that he needs to heal. We have here patterns of control, power, manipulation, and intense push and pull. It says intimacy is not possessive. So I feel like um, this is connecting to the um, the codependency stuff. Like maybe this person is causing you to feel like this. You know, like you um like you have to be controlling. You have to be wondering. You know what's going on? Where are you? You know why are you not? doing this why you're not calling me you know like what you know that type of shit and spirit is saying with this card that you know intimacy is not possessive and there's a lot of push and pull here a lot of manipulation a lot of control and power i feel like um this person probably tries to control you as well like this person this person probably want to be out here doing their thing but want to keep you in the house and stuff like that and that's not cool so that's one of the lessons that you needed to learn as well you know like uh um controlling manipulation those type of things is not it's not intimacy it's not love okay so Learn this, you know, for when you go to the next connection. Okay, so we have here reconciliation. The return of a past soulmate. So we saw that, that this part, oh, and look what we have in the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Someone wants another chance to make things right, desire to do things better. So they do want to make things right. They do want to come back. We see reconciliation. They are going to try to come back. We saw that in the other cards, but I don't know. It doesn't look like you should give this person a chance from what we was getting because Spirit um, was showing you that there's something new coming in. What advice, Spirit? What advice? What advice? Should we give them another chance? No. We are red flag. Tune in to the self soul energy that you are receiving about the situation. Listen to the messages from your body. Trust your gut and your intuition. Okay? So you feel like this person is no good. You feel like you shouldn't, you know, um, give in to this connection. I feel like you definitely know these things. You know, like your intuition is on point. Your intuition is on point. Oh, and we have your trust. So there's a need to trust in uh the divine plan at this time regardless of the external so i feel like maybe when this person comes back you're probably gonna be like oh you know maybe i should give him another chance you know we have again the children think he's popping out so i feel like maybe you do have uh, a a child or children so you know you want to do it for the kids and stuff like that but spirit is saying no you need to trust in the divine right now everything is being oh and look what we have on the bottom of the deck everything is being divinely guided and protected um you know know that everything is happening for a reason don't give in to this connection. Even though, you know, on the outside, the external might look like things are going to change and stuff like that. But they're telling you, no, stick to your guns because you have a new love coming in. A new love or a phase in, in love is coming. It's beginning. But I don't think it's a new phase here. Because from the other cards that we got, Spirit was telling you that um, this ain't it. And they're saying here too as well, you know, pay attention to the red flags. So you do have this new love coming in. And we have here completion. Bottom of the deck, unexpected. So I feel like this person is probably unexpected in your life. You know, you, you're not expecting this new love to come in. You're not expecting it says a message, um, situation, people, or events. So, you know, it is gonna be something that you're not expecting. It could be that um that this person, you know, is um, somebody you don't know or maybe a friend is going to turn into something more. But it is going to be something unexpected. Uh, and the completion is showing me, again, that this is a completion of a cycle. Like, again, just let it go. Okay? Tune into the red flags. Like, you needed to learn something from this connection. You learned it and now it's time to release. Alright? So. 
So yeah. So don't don't take this person back. They're gonna try to come back, and spirit is like, nope. Don't take it back. So now we're gonna clarify. Where's my tarot deck? Oh, yeah. We're gonna clarify now with the tarot and see what um spirit wants you to receive when it comes to this connection. So we have here the Eight of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. So I feel like you definitely are feeling like this. Like you had to walk away. You were stressed out. This person was causing you a lot of, you know, sleepless nights and stuff like that. Here, the moon card so i feel like you found something out but wait we're gonna like i always say you know <laughs> we're gonna do this first and then i'll break it down so hold on so, let me get some more cards Save your tears for another day. Yeah, fuck that nigga. Save your tears for another day. <laughs> I feel like spirit be talking through these songs. Alright, let me get all oh, one more. the whole st story So the Eight of Cups, this is in the past energy. This is showing me, you know, that there was like abandonment issues. Um, if you was like, uh, you know, feeling like you couldn't trust this person. And we saw that. So this is definitely talking about that. You know, like the, the trust issues, the abandonment issues and stuff like that. Um, and you have to walk away from this connection. It shows that you have to, you know, leave this be this behind. You know, like this is you, like I'm out. I'm getting my shit and I'm out of here. Um... It also shows, you know, like you, you just tired from this journey that you have to be on with this, with this relationship and you had no other option, but to just let it go. Like this person put you through the mud. Okay. And they also had you feeling like this, like the four of swords, like you was up at night, you were stressing, wondering what's going on, uh, what this person is doing, you know, why is this happening to me? Probably no communication either because the swords, you know, like maybe this person was just out all night not letting you know what's going on and shit like that. 
that we have the moon. So the moon card is showing, you know, that uh, you are feeling uncertain or insecure in the relationship. Like this is causing you to feel like you was insecure. You wasn't, you was very unsure about this connection. Um, the moon shows that, you know, things are not as, as they seem, you know. So maybe you guys was also pretending like there was a, a, a united front, you know, like you guys was to the world. You guys was happy together and stuff like that. But behind the scenes, there was a lot of miscommunication, a lot of arguments, a lot of old issues that, that brought up insecurities, you know, coming to the surface. This card also signifies deception. So we did see the deception card. This person was wearing a mask in the connection. The person wasn't really keeping it real about what they want or what they was doing and stuff like that. So now we have the Knight of Cups, and this is in the present position. So the Knight of Cups is indicating that you're going to be like swept off your feet like that's what this card is about like somebody's going to come sweep you off your feet um if you are interested in somebody this is telling you you know to let them know you know like flirt and stuff like that but don't be too much you know like we're not on that type of time you know just let him know you know casually that you fit in the vibe you know don't be all thirsty and all like that just let him know okay <laughs> because um this is you know a, a card that's letting you know to you know uh follow your heart and go with it you know like take the leap of faith if you are uh, wonder, oh, and we saw the Leap of Faith card, you know, like, again, we were seeing that in the beginning. If you was trying, you know, wondering if you should give this person a chance, this new love or whatever, or you should just leave, Spirit is saying, take the Leap of Faith and, you know, go for it, okay? Because this is somebody, you know, I feel like they're going to sweep you off your feet. This is going to be somebody very charming, uh, you know, somebody you're going to be attracted to, you know, stuff like that. So now this is talking about the same thing, you know, like um, this person that is coming in to sweep you off your feet. This person is noticing you. You see how this is this is your energy right here. This is the person, you know, like low key watching you probably uh, at work or something because the pentacles, you know, does relate to something with work, with, you know, something with money. Uh, so maybe this person could be, you know, if it doesn't have anything to do with pentacles, for sure. It's just talking about that um, this person is, you know, noticing you and you will find this type of connection, this person through something that has to do with work, some type of collaboration, or like I was saying, if it's not through work, it's like uh, maybe a creative hobby or study, you know, maybe school or something that you're into, you're going to end up finding this person there, okay? So now, even though this person is going to come into your life, we have the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is talking about dwelling on the past, you know, feeling remorse, guilt, or regret. So I feel like Spirit is telling you with this card, you know, um, that maybe you are wishing to go back in time and change the past and stuff like that. But, you know, dwelling on it is not going to change anything. So they're telling you, don't be dwelling on this, you know, release this person. You need to find a way to heal from the past and learn from it. And once you do that, your future will open up. So it was already uh, looking promising with somebody new coming in. But now we have the Knight of Wands. So this is showing you that your future is going to open up. The Knight of Wands is, again, this person who's charming um exciting charismatic uh this person could also be a fire sign too you know like a, a leo sagittarius or a aries i mean fast and very passionately um and again it indicates that you're going to meet this person through some type of work or travel so we have two cards talking about you meeting this person in some type of vibe where it comes to your job and stuff like that so maybe you are going to meet this person in something that has to do with work and travel too maybe like a work related trip so now the reason that they're telling you, you know, to release this and heal from it and stuff like that is because, again, this person is going to come in and this person is going to give you what you want. Look at this. Look at this right here. Like, wow. We have the Tempest card. The Tempest card is talking about harmony, uh, har uh, harmony. What the fuck is that? Harmonious relationship where you and your partner are going to find balance, love, commitment, and respect. Um, this is also a signifier of soulmates. So this is a soulmate connection coming into your life and you are going to have balance. You know, the balance that you wasn't getting before. This is the underlying energy. I'm going to break it down now. But, you know, you wasn't getting this balance before. You wasn't having the happy life, happy life, happy wife vibe. And now you are going to get it with this person. And it's talking about here, you know, family and pentacles. So I do remember seeing the finance thing that was coming up. So I feel like what they're telling you with this person is that this person is going to be able to give you the financial security and stability, you know, for you and your family and stuff like that. Okay. And this could even be you like, um, like maybe you are a single mom and you, um, you know, are meeting somebody new and that's what I'm getting from that. I don't know why. I always see that like that. Like I, I always see this like a blended type of family just from the art on the cards. Like I feel like this is, you know, like you're a single mom, you have your son and, um, you're going to meet somebody new. Okay. Shh, baby, I'm doing a reading. 
talking about sun. There goes my little beatboxer over there in the background. So now, the Ace of Pentacles, this is the underlying energy that we have. The underlying energy, the Ace of Pentacles, the underlying energy is talking about um, a relationship that's full of insecurity and instability. Uh, a relationship that's, that's on shaky grounds. Uh, a relationship that was full of greed, selfishness, or jealousy. Um, and it's in the case that your partner may not be giving the relationship the time and attention that it needed as um, they are putting energy into career or material matters or something that has to do with their finances, you know, uh, maybe like a lot of financial worries that was putting pressure on the relationship. All right. So that's basically summing up the whole reading with this, you know, like spirit was saying that um, this person wasn't uh, investing their energy into this connection we saw that with the finance card so maybe this person is all about their money all about materialistic things and stuff and um he wasn't really finding time you know for the for the relationship um and i feel like this person was also fighting to give you the stability and stuff like that which is why you're going to get somebody who's going to be able to give you that um when it comes to finances when it comes to love when it comes to everything like you are going to get your balance um what else let me see one more card Can we just talk? There goes another song. Can we just talk? No, nigga, we can't talk. It's over. <laughs> no, we cannot talk. It's over. It's over. Yeah, I bet you never felt like this before. You're never going to find nobody like me. <laughs> I'm getting all up in your energy, fire sign. And I'm not even a fire sign. I have no fire at all in my chart at all. Isn't that crazy? Just mad water and earth and air. Right, so, spirit is saying, get some sleep. <laughs> Back of the deck, we have stop obsessing. So maybe you are obsessing about something. Maybe I'm doing a reading. We have here a fear on bottom of the deck. Seriously, just do it. So what I'm getting with this, you know, for your advice, is that spirit is telling you, get some sleep. You know, if you are stressing this connection, you know, like how you, if you're feeling like this, up at night, you know, like this, stress, you know, you can't sleep, worry, like, you know, stressing what's going to happen with this connection. Is this person ever going to change? Um, are things going to be better, you know, or am I going to find a new love and stuff like that? Spirit is telling you, um, you know, just relax. Stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe. It's <laughs> a lot of things going on, you know. And we have fuck fear, it will lie to your face, and then, you know, seriously just do it. So they're telling you, um, with the fuck fear, you know, if you're scared of, of what's out there, you know, you're scared of, or you're worried about what's to come, if you are going to find love and stuff like that, they're telling you fuck fear. Uh, don't think like that, you know, stay positive, stay optimistic when it comes to love, and when it comes to anything, because you don't want to end up manifesting everything that you're scared of happening, okay? You don't want to attract uh, any low vibrational energy. Stay high, you know, high vibrational. Stay um, optimistic. Stay positive when it comes to love. And you are going to find what you want. It is coming, okay? So, um, you know, the obsessing, that's connecting as well. You know, uh, if you're going to be obsessing about something, obsess about uh, what you want when it comes to love. So you can manifest that. You know, use your visualizations. You know, think about what you what what you want from love and stuff like that. Use your positive affirmations. Those type of things. I'm always preaching about that stuff. So you know, that's what spirit is trying to tell you with that. You know, don't think anything negative. Don't think you know, with doubts and fears when it comes to love. And just you know, just do it. That's it. This is something you just fucking apologize. But the the message that we saw was seriously just seriously just do it. And if you do have to apologize for anything, apologize and let it go. Okay. Apologize and release it. All right. So that sums up the reading. I hope I was able to give uh whoever this reading was for the clarity that they needed to receive. Um, if you feel like the reading was on point, please leave um a comment or a like and let me know what's going on. All right. Take care, y'all.